So this is a tutorial on how to use Stamp Master and the features, and additionally we're going to look under the hood, behind the curtain, as to how it works so you can be an advanced user and do even more stuff than I'm about to show you. So, uh, first thing you need to do is make sure it is installed. You just drag in the zip, you can make sure it's installed by typing in Stamp, and it should show up as an extension if you're using like 4.2, which you should be. Um, and you're going to see it in the add-ons, okay? Uh, once you have that, you're good to go. The hotkey for Stamp Master is, by default, Control-Shift-D. Uh, you can change that if you want. So I'm going to select an object, so this is what I want to stamp. Control-Shift-D, then you just pick any image. So it can be a JPEG, an EXR, a PNG. I would recommend something with an alpha channel, something with transparency. Although, if you don't want transparency, you don't need to have it. So... Let's do the good old Stamp Master logo. So you're going to see that the first thing that happens is it has a positioning uh, kind of system that is normal to the surface. So you're going to see whichever direction uh, on the thing, it will adjust for it. Just pick a spot. I'm going to click here, and now we're going to get a new menu where you can kind of uh, scale and rotate in a single kind of operation. And let me tell you, this was hard to program in. So... Uh, you can do this, and then additionally, at the same time, you can scroll uh, up and down uh, to not only affect kind of the transparency or opacity, but you're going to see there's almost like a noise uh, being applied here. So you click, and then you can have one more rotation if you want it. Uh, you're going to see it kind of does this blending where it's a bit transparent, but also there's a bit of noise. This is good for blending and graffiti and stuff like that, and that is it. It is now a stamp relative to this object, meaning I move it, um, it will uh, stay with it. Uh, because it's using this empty method that I saw somebody else do, uh, you can edit it after the fact if you wanted to. Um, there's actually even more you can do with this, but let, let's uh, progress to a harder example. So uh, let's say I want to stamp this pillow. Okay, so again, select the mesh, make sure it is a mesh, and then Control shift d uh, l let's just promote the shit out of this. Okay, another Stamp Master. So, you can see, it's normal to the surface. If it's too big, don't worry, you click, and then we're gonna uh, make it not as big. So, I'm just gonna make it kind of take up the pillow. Again, you can do that scroll up and down if you want to. Final rotation, something like that. And now you can see this is stamped onto the pillow and actually respects the uh, deformation of the uh, mesh. Technically, you can uh, change this a bit, but then I would just, uh, at that point, kind of recalculate the uh, stamp. Um, okay, so this is now relative to the pillow. Something you're going to notice is the stamp isn't behind here. Yet another thing that is kind of difficult to uh, implement, so generally that will work. Um, but now I want to talk about this under the hood. So when you make a stamp, you're going to see it creates this kind of controller object you know, this one that changes it, and it's going to have a name. So right now this is decal 001. If you go to the pillow and you go to shading, it's going to have a uh, material. And by the way, this works in EV and cycles. So let's just do it in look dev EV right now. Uh, you're going to see that this pillow has a material. It happens to be called cushion. And then uh, it has some stuff. This is what existed already. But when we did the decal, it added it here. So thing I want you to notice, this is called decal 001, so too is this decal 001, so you know that they are related. Uh, blending is this kind of noise pattern. That is what this is controlling, right? And then spread, spread is kind of, it, it really controls like that thing where I said, is it behind the uh, pillow or not? Uh, think of it as just kind of like a proximity slider. Generally, you don't touch this. But if you want a bit of a fade, that's an option too. So it's going to add this uh, node group. In here, you can get even crazier. You can modify literally how this works. So uh, you can keep uh, under the hood, it uses this image and this alpha, uh, which means uh, you can mess with it, right? There's no reason you can. Uh, you should use the diffuse that comes with it. You can use the alpha with a different color. Or uh, I guess something that would make more sense is you can take this and let's dye it by multiplying the color by something like that. So now we have a red one, uh, you can have a green one, uh, etc. Okay, so advanced users, you can go into it. Now additionally, because this is a node group, and I know this is a used method, but it's a good method. So 
Uh, because it is a node group, why can you not apply multiple stamps? There, there's no reason why not, actually. Uh, I'm going to add a layer of grunge. Uh, just find better stencils than I have. These are just Google images. So I'm going to paste this on top here. Again, we have that scale and rotate. And for this one, I'm really going to fade it so it's not too strong. And now this is decal 002, both of which, there's do, uh, two decals now, are attached to the pillow. And you're going to see decal 002 has been added. You can make that uh, brighter, more spread, less spread, etc. So, um, yes, you can have multiple st uh, stamps. They come in the order of operation of the order of operation that you uh, applied it at. Um, a couple other things here. That's the essence of it, and you can get pretty complicated. But a couple other things. If you want to change the hotkey for cursed Mac users, I don't know what's going on with their like alt control over there. Uh, you can go to key map. You can go to stamp uh, master. You're going to see this. By default, it's control shift or shift control D. You click this. You're, you're like, oh, control alt D or control alt F. Now that's your hotkey. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but be consistent with what this is. Again, if you're not in 4.2 and it doesn't install any message me, don't, okay? <laughs> Make sure you have 4.2. Um, other than that, just kind of stamp to your heart's content. Um, only like debugging you might want to know if you run into it is this does work on the level of the active material. So if you have multiple materials here, it will only work on the active one. Uh, which can be to your advantage if you plan accordingly. There are reasons to do this. And it uh, maps, kind of like shrink wrapping and texture coordinates, to any surface, whether it be curved or whatever. Let's throw on a dragon over here. So just like that. Uh, let's find a, something like this. Fade it. And now this has a dragon. Now you're going to see... In this case, there's just the tiniest bit of a dragon here. Of course, you can move this down to fix it. Or, uh, like we now know, there's this uh, secret uh, spread slider uh, that will control what is and is not in range. Just like that. Although, in this case, I think it is just projecting a bit uh, above where it uh, should be. Okay. Uh, just stamp away. There's really not much to it, and that is the point. You can use this as a kind of final uh, detail ladder. By the way, if you're doing look dev or EV, you're going to need to wait for the uh, compilation. So I'd recommend just doing this in cycles. But you can use this as a texturing workflow. You can use this as a detail workflow. You can even use this as a displacement workflow, but we're not going to get into that. So... You can even go big if you really want to uh, color something. Make sure you pick the right direction. So I'm going to pick something like... Hmm. Cool thing is you get to move your view as this happens. You can do something like that, and now it projects is the idea. But you could project from uh, multiple sides. So I think you get it. Install, Control-Shift-D, stamp away. Advanced users do use the uh, shader nodes to... Uh, be more advanced. If you have feature requests, send them to me. I think one obvious one is multiple objects stamping all at once. Might be complicated. So there you go.